Hey everybody, and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I think I like the title, uh, The Lost Power Hour. We had some pretty disappointing runs last time, and it makes me sad. It makes me really sad. We should have really had a few of those. The last one for sure. And of course, I've literally just stopped, it, stopped that episode to play this one. So, I mean, we're in just multiple power hours. I'm in just a power session. But, for you guys, it gets broken down in a convenient... <laughs> convenient power hours bundled by failure. So tempting to just continuously restart until you have an item room right next to you. Well, chemical peels of damage up for half your face, so that's a thing. That's useful. I'm not going to say it's bad. I'm not going to say it's what I wanted. I wanted Holy Mantle. Whew, that was damn close. But yeah, Nine Lives is stupidly important. Or Holy Mantle. They're just very, very important items. You really can't get on without them. And that's become more and more clear. Every run I've played where I've been very powerful and just one silly little mistake, one tiny thing that you would honestly believe is just completely insignificant. Dying to the thing spawning out of mom when all it was gonna take was one more foot stomp for me to finish her. Yeah, that's frustrating. That's frustrating on a level that I can't really describe. I'm salty about that, for sure. But, we continue. I'm surprised that didn't kill me. Alright, Champion Widow. This Widow's a little bit faster. But has lower health. I cannot get overwhelmed. Okay, the spawning fly is so crushed the spider. This one tends to get me just because it goes a little bit faster and it jumps further, just like trites. Almost got hit by the snipe nubs. That was close. There we go. Didn't want either of them to get big enough to start firing. Damage. Okay, so we're getting damage. I mean, that's a thing. I'm not really shop worthy right now, and I, th I say we just go. Uh, my trinket right now isn't useful because I don't have a use item. Well, we were going to earn this anyway. The Necronomicon's not great, but it could be worse. Those could be guppy. Oh gosh. Totally missed that this was a boss challenge room. It's okay. It's gonna be good practice because we're gonna have to fight bosses. Because bosses are a thing. Luckily, we're doing good damage. We've gotten two damage ups. Which is not insignificant. Pin will die on this cross through. Gurglings, shoot. Okay. So. I'm pushed against the wall, so they won't charge me. As long as I'm pushed against the wall, unless they're pushed against the same wall. So overall, we didn't die, so technically worth. Good thing is, if I ever get that big room with a crap ton of flies, I can just Necronomicon it. Although the ne Necronomicon having a room a charge time of six rooms is absurd. It really should be like three. Once again, i usually fairly convinced. I wanted to get those for the money in them, possibly, so that's why I did it. That worked out better than expected. Okay. This is kamikaze. This is certainly dangerous as hell. No doubt about that. Well, that actually paid off beautifully. Starter death deck is really good. Oh. 
I didn't even notice he was a champion. All right, so mom's knife. Yeah, mom's knife. We're we're playing dangerous game. We're doing lots of damage, but we're limiting ourselves quite a bit. Our tier effects are not going to be nearly as good. Things like that. Man, my frame rate ate it right there. For a second. Oh, we got that, which is a thing. Oh, damn. That missed. Well, the old bandage isn't really that great. It's an HP up and chances to drop hearts. We've already taken that. That was our Necronomicon. And we're on our way. There's some promise here. There's certainly some promise. I mean, we're clearing rooms quickly, which is always good. Curse of Darkness, I'm not a huge fan of. Because who is, let's be honest. Alright, we've got... Battery. For when we may or may not need it. Right, we're gonna have money. I'm gonna take it for this right here, but I'm gonna stick with this. Uh, actually, it's now useful, so I can explain what it does, hopefully. Uh, basically, uh, normally... Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Just, hello, it doesn't matter. Basically what it does is when your item, your use item, has one charge left before it's fully charged, it gives you that charge. That's all. I'm just sad. Mom's knife was promising, but that's kind of how it always is. I need you, Nub. Yes, to do this. Keep going, Nub. Over here. Over here. Nah, I can't trust it to shoot where I want it to shoot, so... Man, it's regenerating fast. Bomb and a penny. That can't be our secret room. Alright, so this will be useless. And it'll kill us. Well, Guppy's head. If it had been nine lives, oh man, you know I would have been I would have been salty. Salt trips. Salty. <laughs> I, I said salter instead of cellar. That's that's kinda funny. Alright, well this is nice. This is not right here, right, what's going on exactly right now, but having the two item rooms next to each other, go away, spider, seriously. You can't trust the dips to do anything, which is unfortunate. You can trust the spiders to do their little movement thing. You can't trust the dips to do squat. Alright, so we've gone over how best friend's actually pretty decent in the past. And that's useless. Unfortunate. Unfortunate for sure, but so be it. Now with this being an XL floor, I'm now looking very, very intently for the boss rooms. So we can just be done with the floor. And we found him. No, I need you to die. I need you to not run away like a pansy. I need you to just die. Alright, so, let's do the first boss. Ooh, ooh, that was beautiful damage. Uh, I'm thinking about just fighting two other rooms. Nice, tears and shot speed up. And it turns your tears red. Think about just fighting two more rooms so that I can get a bomb, basically. Well, this was unfortunate. That was very nice, though. The the boss item. Boss item. Oof! Wow. 
I chugged there, and I don't know why. Nothing else is running on my computer right now. Save, of course, for the recording software. Bomb and key. Let's go finish off this other boss. Darn it. There we go. Neither of those could have been the secret room, so I'm not too keen to explore too far. Let's just see what's in our devil room. This will not be easy to take advantage of. I did not mean to drop that bomb. I totally fat fingered it, but I was thinking about dropping a bomb, so that might have also been it. I might have just instinctively hit it. We haven't gotten a damage up, we haven't gotten a DPS up, so hopefully that will be visible here. Glad he did not ricochet off that pot. So surprised I didn't just die by running into him right there. And dead? Yes, yes. Nice, speed and damage up. Let's see what we got. Guppy's tail means more chests. Fear shot, as we know, is a damage up. So, good, but not nine lives. The degree to which I've seen nine lives has dropped. Like, absolutely plummeted. And that is frustrating as hell. Like, absolutely frustrating. Because, yeah, I used to see it a decent bit, but I have not seen it, like, at all. And it's because I'm playing Lost. The game knows. The game knows. Something, 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 sheeple. That was kind of close. Our range is good, though. Our damage is decent. I have the keys to get in there. Man, I do not like this room, though. I really do have the keys to get in there, so I'm going to. One rerolls your entire run. Nope. At least I'm pretty sure it rerolls all your items. Right now I'm doing okay, so the answer is no. Our damage is good, our fire rate's good. Fine. Not really worth it. I'm actually not taking that. That sounds crazy, but I'm not taking it. It's it's not what I want right now. What I have right now is good, and could be very good. Bunch of money. I almost took Fanny back. I really almost did. But it's actually not useful to me. Wait, was there a key in there? Because if there is. Nope. That was close. Alright, now let's hope we get that deal with the devil. This floor. That was close, and mean. I should have been firing. Our damage is good, but yeah. Barrage of Tears, whatever. Ah, game. Game, 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 stop it. I know you like being a dick game, but you need to not be so dickish. Mom's knife would not have changed that. I still would have died to that. That barrage of tears was not avoidable. I needed to just not be there. I suppose there might be a very small thing that I could have gotten through, but just the way that barrages of tears work. Okay, so it begins. Holy Mantle. That is what we are hoping for, that is what we need, that is the start to a decent run. And this is the start to another decent run, give me something good. Okay, we traded a key for a golden key, 
So I very much would like golden things to open. Like more golden chests that maybe give me keys. We can go into curse rooms, which is beautiful. Although you do have to be careful. If anything hits you while you are in the curse room and takes away that immunity, you're you're done. Still have to be careful. You still play like you have only one hit. Because if you get hit once, then you have only one hit. There's no benefit to playing it otherwise. Pairing these down was not a good plan. Not yet. I haven't cleared enough. Seriously, why am I getting frame lag? This is not cool. Pretty sure that one's explosive and I should probably try and use that to my advantage. I think I've done enough to be able to take care of these guys. Yeah, the room's clear enough that it's not a problem. So, for those who may be tuning in for the first time, Holy Mantle on the Lost is amazing because it lets you ignore the first hit that you take. It basically gives the Lost two health every room. That is it. But that is not too shabby. It means that you can mess up, you can make that silly mistake once, and you're good. You still don't want to make that mistake at all. And I think with the amount of Lost I've played, I've gotten better at not making that mistake. But it's a start. Wow, I didn't know Blue Baby's soul uh, was fired homing spectral tears. A humbling bundle. The answer is yes. The question is, can I get it? Can I get seven cents out of this? Uh, and I totally did. I left because spiders. So now everything is doubled. There is no obvious secret room, so I'm not going to be doing any of that. Like, all, all pickups are 1 plus 1 free. Okay, this is dangerous. I need to decide what I'm focusing on, and then focus on it. And I think it's the body right now. This is definitely a boss that can hit me twice. Like, it's very capable of doing so. Unfortunately, its item is useless to me. It does give me an invincibility, though. Which could prove useful. Whew, that was close. Yep. It does give us a minimum speed, which I think it did increase our speed a little bit. And it gives us an invincibility dash, which can deal damage and kill stuff. Oh, crap. Yep, well, game. I just did it. I got myself killed. God, son of a gun. Yep, I'm dead. Uh, unless I get a telepills as a drop here. I'm dead. Because I hit spacebar, and it didn't look like the pony was doing anything. It didn't look like I was about to dash, and so I dashed up and trapped myself in a corner. That was all my fault. And now I'm really mad at myself. <sighs> That's why going into cursed rooms is dangerous. It is just friggin' dangerous. It didn't help that the curse room, of course, wasn't actually a normal curse room that just has chests in it. Because that that's something that would actually be useful. Instead, it has enemies in it. Hello. Please go away. I don't want to see you. I'm pretty sure I've seen this room before, but it's not a very nice one. I haven't killed anything on it yet. Okay, I think I've killed one thing. I've got champion trites following me around. And I can't stay in one place for very long, or the uh, diglets will get me. You have to be really careful with that. The luck up is nice. It means I'll probably get more drops. Probably. 
Probably. I mean, it's, it's a luck stat, so it's exactly what you think it is. A chance. Not a guarantee. Alright, so that totally could be the secret room, and since I've got two bombs, I'm gonna check it out. Very nice, I even got a... Got one of those, so we're up to ten cents. I'll take it. This isn't an XL, no. So our item room... Man, this is a big four. Pretty much the item room and the boss room have to be one thing away. Whatever. I keep forgetting they do that. You can tell I'm frustrated. I'm tilting a little bit. Because I shouldn't have lost that run. That should have been another one run. Should have been, but it wasn't. We had Humbling Bundle, we had Holy Mantle. It was only a matter of time. We didn't even get to see our first Devil Room. That's how bad I messed up. And that's why I didn't want to run past it. Knowing your champion colors is important. Or at least having an idea of what they might be and being cautious about them. Well, that was useless. I haven't even seen the item room. I should not go for the boss. Wow. Wow, I just didn't even see the fire. I was so focused on the enemies. So focused on the enemies. So what's this? Jump. Absolutely useless. What's this? Luck down. Yep. Okay, not 100% useless, but not all that useful. It's not very much damage. So Trail of Tears just leaves this Trail of Tears behind me. Exactly as one would expect. Well, it's Aquarius Trail of Tears, I should say. And that deals damage to anything that steps on it. Okay, that was worth it. Very much so. Doesn't affect flying enemies, though, so... It's actually very not useful earlier on. Might as well go for the boss. We don't have all that much money, although we do have a possible secret room. It's not really important, though. So this could actually be good against Larry Jr. because of all his segments. <laughs> but it doesn't matter, because I played chicken. I didn't expect him to go there, so I went there. No. Such is the lost. Curse of the blind. Okay. That's really not useful either. I can fly, so Magneto is useless to me. You want items to come towards you? Sure. Now they will. Or you could have just flown to get them. That actually made me not pick it up. I wouldn't be sad if I died in this room. <laughs> and I did. I believe this one's gonna drop into ooze. Nope. The sun, so I can kill everything in a room, if I so please. Oh man, good thing I've got two health up pills. This is good, actually. Actually. Not like super good, but it's decent. It's basically Ludovico technique optional. So if I need to deal with stuff close to me, I can. If I need to deal with stuff not necessarily close to me, I can just do this. You're not trapped in here with- or I'm not trapped in here with you, you're trapped in here with me. Alright, let's take care of this eternal fly before I forget. Oh crap. Again? I mean, I'm gonna destroy it this time, but... Please stop. Okay. 
I do not like the pony. You can't even like get out of a curse room with it, which is also pretty shitty. I almost said sucky and then like corrected myself to shitty. This lets me sit somewhere safe and kill things. Which I can't complain about necessarily. I mean, I will try. But it's really not that bad. Wow. This is a cruel floor. And this is an obnoxious room. Jeez, oh, it really is. Unfortunately, in rooms where there's nowhere safe to be, it's not particularly useful. Please just die. This, however, is very useful. I believe I can still use Blue Baby's best friend while using it. Yes, I can. Granted, in this room it doesn't matter, but I figured I'd try it out. Now I can go check out curse rooms too. Granted, I don't have invincibility for the next room that I fight. That is the downside of going to a curse room. But, in this case, it's okay. Hey, look, this room's familiar. I need to take care of that fly. Alright. Speed and shot speed. Poor Babylon is cool. It gives us a damage up at the very least. We've seen everything. Question is... Is... Which of these is possibly... Either of them could be. Good. This could be good, this could be bad. It'll block tears. It'll break rocks. It kind of gives me something to do while I'm invincible. But we'll see. We're, we're playing a very weird game here, and we have Curse of Darkness again! Me invincible there was basically just me getting out of the bad place I was in. Invincibility, I believe, saves me again. The spiders are stupid. My damage is decent enough that I can almost do this by myself now, but... Because that's what Blue Baby's best friend is basically supposed to be a crutch until you can do it all yourself. Or if you've got a safe place to go, you can just be done with it. Now, I do have to be very careful in this room, though. Because mushrooms. One just has to explode into gas and I'm dead. Which is why I'm trying to stay out of that room as much as possible. We have not seen the angel room. Angel room, the item room. 
We haven't seen an angel room either, and I'm okay with that. That's nice. Just making myself invincible, because I can, basically. Flat penny's good. Coins can possibly give me... Yeah, I'm not gonna mess with how many tears. Coins, when I pick up a coin, I've got a 50% chance to also spawn a key. It's very nice. Don't want that. Yeah, I need to deal with this one. Normally, I'm not going to be able to get the uh, Boo Boo's best friend to follow me properly. And if I'm about to get hit, I just have to hit spacebar. Uh, without getting nine lives, this run doesn't have much hope for very much longer. us one coin short, so we either need a bomb or a penny. I want Humbling Bundle is the answer to the question, if you're wondering why I would like the money. And we've got it. Humbling Bundle is very good. It means your consumable problems disappear. Eventually. I mean, they don't, it doesn't kick in right away, mind you. Well, the actual effect does... The actual effect of Humbling Bundle does kick in, but because you have to pick stuff up, it can't. Ooh, that was damn close. And I uh, just, I didn't even see it. It's coloration. That's why I don't like Curse of Darkness. This is nice. Please be the secret room right there and just save me a bomb and effort. Well, at least we know it's not there. That will narrow it down. Man, the screen is so bright because we don't have Curse of Darkness. It's almost as though curses are obnoxious. Alright, well, we're getting close to being shop shop worthy. Which is kind of like sea worthy, but shop. Yeah, bring it. Come down this corridor of death, I dare you. It's not going to work. And farting doesn't help. If I become shop worthy, I won't spend the key on that chest. And I do still need the item room. But luckily, Troll Bomb takes care of one of them. Could have been more, though. Would have been nice if it was more. We do get a bomb though. And another key. That's good. Oh god, it's red poop, and I don't know how I didn't die there. Alright, so I gotta be careful because this red poop is about 99% uh, likely to kill me. Sister Maggie, uh, DPS up, so sure. Nothing going on in this room. So there's only one viable. This is a interesting floor layout. It's a check mark, kind of. So there's a pretty good chance it's right here. I'm not going to get the machine as well as it, so. 27 cents. Good. I'm very happy with that. Humbling bundle is a yes. For certain. See, there you go. Double keys. Um... Yeah, I'll take compass. It'll get me to item rooms faster. Assuming I live.
That was kind of close. Man, my damage is not very good. Can't take care of these damn dingles. Or damn dingles, the, uh, the dips. The dips are being very dangerous. Just because there's so many of them. And I'm slowly destroying my own poop fort. In an attempt to kill them. Come on, Sister Maggie. Come on. Kill all the dips. Come on. Lock up and two keys, which is actually four keys. I'm okay with this. Uh, is this run amazing right now? Not particularly, but it's useful. It's got promise. Oh, Curse of the Maze is... Curse of the Maze, I suppose. It's a lot of money. It's always nice. Never know. Hello, Curse of the Maze. Okay, I managed to escape from that side of the room, which is critical. Sister Maggie isn't really increasing my DPS as much as I would hope, but it's working out alright. She's helping. She's trying. Useless. Absolutely useless. Also useless. Nothing in there is going to benefit me. So I'll pass. Okay, whatever. I I thought I was gonna die. And it just didn't. So that's the way it goes. We didn't spend too we didn't spend our bombs on anything particularly useful. The items weren't great. Oh gosh, and then I go the wrong way after Curse of the Maze moves me. But luckily didn't end up in a room. Uh, useless. 100% useless. Don't even care. Okay, Basement XL, I'll give it a chance. Because we get to see our Curse Room. Or our Curse Room. We get to see our Devil Room. We get both our item rooms, and we have no possibility for the haunt. To be fair though, I actually have not seen the haunt like at all recently. Which is definitely a plus. So this may kill us. Holy hell. I thought I was dead both those times, but I managed to push it away, both of them. And now I'm just going to die to this trite for holes. Well, I didn't, but... It wouldn't have surprised me if that's what had happened. Just get, get some distance the attack. As long as none of them are shooting bloody tears. That'll be good. Alright, we found one of our item rooms. Come on, holy mantle. Gemini. No Pisces. So tears up. It makes our tears bigger, but it doesn't actually- oh my. It does weird stuff to our skin. It looks like we are a fish. Uh, our tears are increased in size, but not in damage. But we've got good knockback, which, as the lost, may or may not be a good thing. Can't really tell ya. That was really close. Should not have dodged that direction, I really shouldn't be alive. But that's how it works. Okay, Cricket's head, so that's a damage up. That was 
awesome. And look at our face. We're so sad. We just saw our, our cat cricket, I believe, is... Oh my gosh, this thing is so fast. It's so fast, I couldn't get away. I absolutely could not get away. That is some bullshit. That is some bullshit. I did enough damage to it that the next shot was going to kill it. And then I had to try and get far enough away from it that it couldn't hurt me. That that was unfair. Could not do anything about that room. Wow, I just walked into the machine gun barrel there. That one was my fault. That room is completely doable with base damage. Like that that's a pretty good good judgment, right? Like if you don't get screwed, if you have base stats, you should be able to deal with this room. Like yeah, if you get so slowed down that there's nothing you can do, that happens. Every room should basically be complete bullet base stats. If you are good enough, it should be doable. That constitutes fair to me. Like, if I was damn good, I could take no items and do this. Take absolutely zero items, play the lost, and win. If you were that good. I don't think anybody's that good, I'm, I'll be honest. Maybe somebody is, but I'm certainly not. That's one of those I'd need to see it to believe it sort of things. And if somebody were to do that, it would probably be like... It would definitely be the Isaac sensation. They'd be a superstar in the Isaac community. I'm waiting for you guys to walk into the machine gun. I've already done it. Oh, the fool. Okay, so that's a curse room. This is gonna get me killed, by the way. I'm just gonna say this now. Movie Cho is bad. If I can get somewhere to hide, I'll be okay. It's the getting somewhere to hide that's a problem. My fire rate is slow. And enemies that move like that are very hard to kill. There are some benefits to it. Just not many. Okay, this is gonna be a hard fight. Need to keep the tier near me because of how pin jumps. But I really do have to focus on so many things at once. Speed and shot speed. That'll be useful. It's not what I'm hoping for, but it'll be useful. Damage is what I want. Damage and tears. Well, another Curse of Darkness to ruin my fun. We've got the one key for the item room. We don't have enough money for the shop, so I'm not like particularly sad about this. Useless. There are items that are just strictly useless, and they suck. And when you get them, it sucks. Oh, I accidentally popped that poop. Well, that's okay. I'm getting to see my devil room. Maybe. If it's the haunt, I'm dead. That, that's fact. If it's the haunt, the chances of me winning this fight are slim to none. Because I can't kill this thing fast enough. And st <laughs> Okay! <laughs> Hi, I'm the haunt. You're trapped in that corner. Fuck you. 
That is how that went. That was the game's narration of that, by the way. If it was storyboarded, that's what it was. Well, these hoppers aren't too bad. They don't quite do the trite thing. They can, now and again. But they don't do the trite thing consistently. Come on. There we go. By the way, as an aside, the room that I called unfair, that got me killed after I had Cricket's head, which made me very sad, um, in its normal state is fair. I feel like that's worth noting. With that champion, it was unfair. And I guess that's part of hardcore mode. Like, I'm sure if you were to get Edmund on the, on the phone and be like, hey, so this room was kind of a dick, that, that's mean. You'd just be like, it was a champion, deal with it. That's exactly what I would say. Oh wait, do we have a library? Is that what I just discovered? Or, oh wait, no, that was a bomb room, wasn't it? Let me double check. I thought it was a bomb room. Nope. Well. I'm taking Bob's rotten head, and I'm kind of sad I threw it right there. We removed some stuff from pools, though, which is cool. We got 11 cents, not quite enough for the shop. We're not going to have Bob's Rotten Head for the boss, that makes me sad. And I'm not even going to get it for uh, finding the secret room, which also sucks. Although I could... Mmm, could be there. Could be either direction. <sighs> That's a guess. And I was wrong. Sad panda. So be it. Okay, orbital. Can't complain about the orbital. Orbitals are nice. Have to get him to start traveling the other way. Okay. I didn't get far enough away from him. And this... <laughs> it's decided you're fighting a big room. Deal with it. We're approaching an hour. This, If this run lasts any decent length, it will likely be the last. And that's a big if. Oh wow, and this one doesn't even have another... Saw the other door but didn't connect in my head that that was the... that was it. That was the other big room. This is the worst room ever. I don't understand how often I've seen it. Like, makes no sense. Just, it makes no sense. Oh gosh, yep, it's one of those. So I'm not gonna kill that until I kill all these. It's not worth a bomb, I can kill all of these, but it's just so annoying. Like, this room almost is reset worthy for me, because it's so obnoxious. It's not quite envy, but it's damn close. So bad. So many flies. It could be so nice to be Lord of the Flies in this room. Oh, there's still one blast that's left. Right as I go to scratch my nose and don't have my finger on the key fingers on the keyboard to actually shoot. Well, we're not doing terrible in bombs. Well, you know what you know what I like? I like useless bosses, or useless mini-bosses. 
The only reason I don't reset on Gluttony is because Gluttony is not really that bad of a fight. At least I've removed that from the item room pool. I can still get it if I fight another Gluttony, but I've removed it from the item room pool. So at least that's a thing. <sighs> Fucking useless. Well, thus far useless. I think that actually qualifies this run as reset. And I, I agree. Curse of the Lost. We've been playing with this curse for a lot longer than just this floor, let me tell you. Oh, well, well. <laughs> dead. Not intentional. Magic Mushroom, Megusta. So that's a 1.5 damage multiplier. Oh my gosh, 1.5 damage multiplier and 10 cents randomly. I'm okay with this, but oh man, this is a bad room. That could have been hella dangerous. Come at me, bro. I knew he was gonna blow up. At some point you just have to run at them when they're going to be that passive aggressive at you. Alright, so we can one shot flies, that's very nice. But how are we doing on spiders? Nope, still not one shotting those. Which means they pretty much take two full damage shots. There's 1.5 damage multiplier, I believe it is, I actually don't know if it's 0.5 damage yet. I know Cricket's head is. I know that it's an HP up, so I think it might not be a damage up on top of that as well, because that'd be really, really good. Not that there aren't items that are that good, it's just I don't think Magic Mushroom is that tier. That is, like, stupid tier. Can you guys stop spawning shit for, like, a minute? Oh gosh, you need to die. So the obnoxious part is when stuff like that spawners, like with that spawn when they die, are the red champion type that basically creates, um, I'm not really sure how to describe it. It creates the goop, right? When it dies, it goops. Uh, it spawns the things that it would spawn on death. <sighs> Son of a bitch. I mean, this might be enough. It was enough to take care of the little haunts. Which are the problem, by the way. The little haunts are the issue. That is the hard part of the fight. That's what you don't want to have happen. That's why you cross over at the halfway point. Good one shot. <sighs> useless. I'm not joking, that's useless. I don't have any HP to regenerate. For a second I thought I was Magic Scab and I was okay. Or Lucky Scab. Not worth it. Nothing in that chest is worth it anymore. Not even Cricket's Head. Because Cricket's Head, its damage multiplier does not stack. Oops, this was a big room. Okay, I barely managed to take care of those. Joker. Chaos card, okay. I don't know any keys. So Chaos card, it goes in the direction you're moving, and it one-shots anything. Anything. Any phase, I should say. Because if there's multi-phase bosses, it only will defeat one phase. Still, very good. And with blank card, it could be shenanigans. It would make bosses trivial. 
arguably. I'm pretty sure you can even use it on the Mask of Infamy. You still have to defeat the heart, but I believe the Mask is just dead. Still don't have a key. That is not a key. Okay, it doesn't matter if I pick that up. I need a key. Okay, so I'm not getting the item room. That is so dickish. Game. There's still a chance. There is still a chance. That chance is, of course, that I get latch key. Or box. So this monster can't high jump. He can normal jump, but he cannot high jump. Because he's big, I guess. I'm trying to do full avoidance on his attack. Yep, so, no item room. Not really sure what I'm supposed to do with, with this, at this point, like... It's a battery, because that's gonna do much for- I should have taken breakfast. It's still in the pool now, I guess. If I get it again, it'll be my own fault. So I do have Spectral Tears now, which is useful. Very useful. And yes, I'm killing these, because otherwise I'll accidentally kill myself. Hello. Don't you do silly, predict unpredictable things. Blowing up TNT and other stuff takes time. Hello, key. I can get my item room. The item room could have been absolutely useless. I won't know. There's nothing that I could possibly do to find out. Even if I knew the seed, I don't think replaying it would change that. Make me flee my hiding spot. Alright, well I finally got shop money. Spectral Tears is nice. It's not what I wanted. At least it wasn't um, gold or red chests. Because that would have been the worst thing that I could have gotten. Because yeah, that wouldn't lock in double rooms and... Even if, I mean, if it contained nine lives, hell yes. Like, I'm okay with that. I would like to see my item room. It's important to stay perpendicular or horizontal, or directly horizontal or directly vertical to these guys. As much as possible. Curse the maze, being curse the maze. And dead. Fuck. I saw that coming too, and I went. Uh, uh, whatever. So, this is the last run. Guaranteed. No matter what happens, this is the last run. If it turns out that it's a reset, it's a reset. And I just call it. If I die stupidly, which is what it's looking like is gonna happen, because Curse of the Darkness, uh, then I die stupidly, and we call it. But I don't want to keep- I don't want these episodes to last too much longer than an hour. Because that's just excessive. And then, of course, if I don't put a cutoff, eventually I get a run that goes for, you know, an hour after it's been more than an hour trying to get a good run. And Lost Runs are deemed... Lost Runs are generally going to be fast. You either die, or you get super powerful to the point where you can take everything. Because there's only so much you can do when you die in one hit. Or two hits, if you're lucky. And not stupid, like I am. Alright. So I died, I didn't even get to see an item item, and that's going to be it for now. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, you are free to yell at me in the comments about some of the really crappy play that just happened. Because believe me, 
I, I tried very hard to not tilt, but uh, yeah, it happens sometimes. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I know that these are kind of painful to watch, uh, but I hope you're learning from them. Cautionary tales are cautionary tales. And I will see you guys next time.